tonight. Another major spill at a local military base. This time it's JEB Little Creek Fort Story. Thanks for watching. I'm Anita Blanton. And I'm Tom Shad. Around 120,000 gallons of liquid sewage discharged earlier today. The Navy says half went into the harbor at the base while the other half was recovered. Then your side's Joe Fisher joins us with his latest update tonight. Joe? The Navy says they first discovered this ruptured pipe around 4 o'clock this morning. Although we were just alerted to the problem around 8 o'clock tonight, the Navy releasing a statement saying this was an accident. They say that this does not pose any significant health risk. Although what is unclear tonight are the environmental impacts from this massive spill. Right now, we are at JEB Little Creek. The Navy says around 4 o'clock this morning, someone noticed liquid coming from underneath a door at the Navy pump house. Again, this was coming from a ruptured pipe. It took more than four hours to stop the spill. By then, 120,000 gallons discharged from the pump station. 60,000 gallons of that sewage went into the harbor. The other 60,000 gallons of sewage were captured in drain pipes and a dry well. Tonight, we got this statement from the Navy reading, quote, Naval facilities personnel took immediate action to isolate the ruptured pipe and contain the discharge and notified the National Response Center and Virginia Department of Environmental Quality. We are committed to the health and safety of our communities where we live and work. You may remember back in May, 94,000 gallons of jet fuel spilled from a fuel tank at NAS Oceana. Nine sailors were reprimanded in that incident, which cost nearly $4 million to clean up. As for today's break, the Navy says they still have not determined exactly how it happened. They're here right now working to figure that out, and they say they will not leave until the cleanup is complete. We're in Norfolk tonight. I'm Joe Fisher. Ted on your side.